Hello, I'm Rosa, an artist, graphic designer and illustrator from Finland. Here's a quick demo of a colored pencil painting I made. My main tools were Faber Castell Polychromos and Derwent Lightfast pencils. The list of the tools used can be found in the video description. First, I had the idea that I wanted to paint a cat with strawberries, so I started by looking for reference. I always use royalty-free photos to avoid issues with copyright. I combined four different photos in Photoshop to create my reference. You can see part of it there on my tablet. So there is no photo available that would look exactly like my painting. I didn't use odorless mineral spirits for this painting because it makes me feel a bit dizzy, but it can be used for blending. It's also necessary if you want your work to look exactly like a photo, which is not what I'm after here. I like it that some of the paper's texture can show through and remind the viewer that the painting is actually handmade. I mean, to have something totally like a photo, I can take a photo, right? A question I'm often asked is, how long does it take for you to make a painting? But there is no answer to that question. The problem is that even if I try to write down my hours, I always lose track of time at some point. The world around me disappears when I get drifted away by some little detail. The time consumption also depends on the medium, the accuracy of the reference photo or the absence of the reference. Even the type of paper used has an impact. For example, layering colors on pastel matte or sanded paper is a lot faster than on a watercolor paper that I'm using here. But I can tell you, it takes long. I guess it should be somewhere around 40 to 50 hours for this painting. I didn't shoot the whole process because the video would have gotten too long. Also, I had a flu, so I was lazy to build my video setup every time. I worked on a 30cm square Sanelier hot pressed 300g watercolor paper. The surface is really smooth and enables a lot of detail to be done. But working with colored pencils on a paper like this is very time consuming because the white areas can't be drawn. I had to work from light colors to dark because the light colors are too translucent to show up on top of the darks. That means I need to let the white of the paper show through for the white areas and I can't just carelessly color an area. I need to plan every detail in advance and use very light layers. Also, the amount of layers on this paper is limited and erasing to show a perfectly white surface is impossible. For the final touches I did use a trick. I mixed brush and pencils titanium white powder with colored pencil touch-up texture to add white to just a few areas, mainly the cat's whiskers. I used my tiniest watercolor brush for that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe because there will be more videos. I'm still learning this so any feedback is very welcome. You can leave a comment below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram by name Robakka or visit my website at rosakansala.fi. Bye!